Welcome to day 24 of our Lenten journey together. And today's reflection is entitled, A Demonstration of God. Our scripture passage comes to us from Isaiah chapter 40, verse 4. Fill in the valleys and level the mountains and hills. Straighten the curves and smooth out the rough places. Well, the rough places and curves of life serve a purpose. They set the stage for God to reveal himself. He would never have been able to demonstrate that he delivers, for example, without someone having been held captive. He could show no forgiveness unless we sinned or reveal himself as a healer unless someone was sick. He could not show unconditional love if there were no possible conditions. Nor could he show mercy in a world that never needs it. His attributes of majesty, glory, power, wisdom, and love might be visible under any conditions. But his problem-solving attributes would be forever hidden in a perfect world. So the imperfect came. It had to. The valleys and hills are the backdrop for God's revelation of many of his most beautiful, awe-inspiring characteristics. But those valleys and hills do not need to continue forever. God's works in the context of our trials and tribulations will become an everlasting testimony to his true nature. Like trophies on the mantle, they tell a story. But once he is done revealing himself on the stage of our trials and tribulations, once the story is told, well, the trials and tribulations will be resolved. The curves will be straightened and the rough places made smooth. The valleys and mountains of life will be leveled. Well, this ought to be profoundly comforting for any citizen of the kingdom of God. We often cry out to God in adversity and wonder why we are having such a difficult time. And we forget that the purpose of our mountains and hills, even those of our own making, is to set the stage for a revelation of God. That whether he shows his deliverance, healing, mercy, power, provision, or comfort, he will demonstrate something in our distress. And there will come a time when he no longer shows his overcoming nature because there'll be nothing left to overcome. Our trials and tribulations and our sins have an expiration date. When we become aware of God's purpose, we, well, we begin asking a different question in our cries. Instead of, why me, Lord? We instead learn to ask, Lord, how do you want to reveal yourself in this situation? He steps in with some demonstration of his goodness and he gives us greater assurance. In the end, the mountains, hills, valleys, curves, and rough places of our lives will be no more. All our cries will be past tense testimonies. 
And our future? Well, our future will be filled with praise. Our prayer for the day. Lord, how do you want to reveal yourself in the rough places of our lives? Teach us to expect a demonstration of your goodness in every situation. No mountain is bigger than you. Fill our hearts with hope for the day when you level each one of them completely. Amen. And something for you to think upon today. How has God demonstrated his goodness in the trials and tribulations of your life? And why are such situations necessary for him to reveal some of his attributes to you and the world around you? I'll let you ponder that as I look forward to being with you tomorrow. God bless you.